Now let's discuss about stationary waves. Stationary waves means let us consider a line, any line like this. Suppose there are two waves, one traveling from left to right and another from right to left, like this. And this white wave is trans traveling from towards the right and this one towards the left. Let V be the velocity of both. Suppose these two waves have same amplitude, that is their amplitude both remains the same, that is A. And if they have same frequency and everything else is same, the only thing is they are traveling in opposite direction. So when these two waves superpose each other, what will happen is we will get something like this. We get something like this. They superpose each other. The resultant wave does not travel to any of the direction. It won't go to left or it won't go to right. And this kind of wave is called the stationary waves. Clear. So we need to find the expression for the stationary wave and find its this point is called node anti node A and this point is called node. We will discuss that later. Let's understand. Uh, I just uh, I just represented in order to understand the structure of a stationary wave. So let's do some analytical treatment for of this stationary waves. We have, let's say, we have the expression for a wave traveling towards the right. Let's say for this one, y1 is equal to a sine omega t minus kx. This is the, this one represents the displacement of the first wave. And for a wave traveling from right to left or in the opposite direction, suppose this is our positive x-axis and this is our negative x-axis and the wave traveling towards the left will be y2 equal to that is this green wave will be a sine omega t plus kx this is actually the displacement uh, relation of a progressive wave if you have any doubt regarding the derivation of this equation you can always go back and check the video i'll put it in the description below so what will be the resultant? Resultant y will be y1 plus y2. According to superposition principle, the total displacement or the resultant displacement will be the uh, vector sum or the sum of the individual displacements of the wave. Clear. So that is y equal to y1 plus y2. That is a sine omega t minus kx plus a sin omega t plus kx clearly this a is common you can take that out a into sin omega t minus kx plus sin omega t plus kx now let's erase this we have y equal to resultant displacement y equal to a you can write sin a minus b equal to sin a that is sin omega t this b a this one is a this one is b here also this one is a this one is b a is omega t so sin a cos b that is sin a cos kx minus cos a cos omega t sin kx that is sin omega t minus kx plus what about sin omega t plus kx that is equal to sin a sin omega t cos kx plus cos omega t sin kx you can cancel this minus this one and this one minus cos omega t sin x will get cancelled. 
so y is equal to a into this this is equal to if you add these two you'll get two times sine omega t cos kx or you can write this as y equal to 2a cos kx into sine omega t clear now you can take this one as a new amplitude anything coefficient to sine will be the amplitude so this will be the new amplitude of the stationary wave or new amplitude of the resulting wave resulting wave is the stationary wave so y can be written as a dash some new amplitude sine omega t clear so this is the expression for stationary wave resultant displacement of stationary wave where a dash equal to 2a cos kx clear now we need to find at what points the amplitude is minimum and at what points the amplitude is maximum for that let's take we have first case one the uh, points were amplitude amplitude is minimum minimum the points where amplitude is minimum is called nodes 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 are usually represented by the letter m so we have a dash is equal to zero at minimum points amplitude must be zero so amplitude is equal to zero means 2a cos kx is equal to 0. Clearly, you know, 2a is the amplitude of the waves that is meeting. So, that won't be 0, which means cos kx equal to 0. So, at what are the values of cos in which the cos of that angle gives 0? Clearly, kx must be, kx must be pi by 2. If it is pi by 2, then cos pi by 2 is 0, comma, for 3 pi by 2, it is also 0, 5 pi by 2, so it goes on. So, if the value of kx is, is pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, etc., then the amplitude will be 0. So, how will you standardize this? If n equal to 0 first n equal to 0 then the value should be pi by 2 if n equal to 1 then that must be 3 pi by 2 n equal to 2 that must be 5 pi by 2 clearly that is kx is equal to when you can write this as let's write 2n plus 1 if n equal to 0 then 2 into 0 2 into 0 plus 1 is let's say pi by 2 if you write like this then 2 into 0 plus 1 into pi by 2 will be pi by 2 and if n equal to 1 if you substitute in here 2 into 1 plus 1 is 3 3 pi by 2 so this expression fits for generalizing this this series this sequence clear so kx is equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2 where n equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Clear. But k is equal to, you have k is equal to 2 pi by lambda where k is the wave number. x is equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2. You can cancel this pi and this pi. Therefore, x is equal to 2n plus 1 2n plus 1, uh, you can take this lambda to the right, lambda 2 will come to the denominator, lambda by 4, clear, where n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. When n equal to 
when n equal to 0, when n equal to 0, x will be x will be 2 into 0 plus 1, which is equal to lambda by 4. When n equal to 1, you can substitute in here 2 into 1, 2, 2 plus 1 is 3 lambda by 4. So these are the region. Next will be 5 lambda 4. So these are the regions of nodes. Nodes means the regions of zero, 0 amplitude or minimum amplitude. Clear. So this is the generalization of the regions of nodes. Clear. Now let's discuss about the regions of the points where amplitude is maximum. Case 2. Case 2. Points were amplitude is maximum. Maximum. We have at a dash is equal to 2a cos x. A dash is maximum when cos kx is equal to sorry cos kx is equal to plus or minus 1 because uh, the maximum value of cos kx is 1 or if you doesn't take the uh, amplitude doesn't take the sign which means this is the positive amplitude this is the negative amplitude so k is plus or minus 1 when plus 1 happens this is the amplitude when minus 1 happens this is the amplitude one is first and other is true okay in both cases the amplitude of vibration is maximum so cos kx must be plus or minus 1 so what are the values of cos kx that gives plus or minus 1 clearly kx must be 0 cos 0 equal to 1 cos pi cos 180 is equal to minus 1 cos 2 pi equal to 1 so these are the values clear you can easily generalize this that is kx is equal to kx can be written as n pi where n is equal to 0 1 2 3 etc clear if 0 equal to if n equal to 0 then it will be 0 if n equal to 1 then it is equal to 1 pi clear now you can write k s k s 2 pi by lambda it is the wave number x is equal to n pi you can cancel this pi n pi so x is equal to n lambda divided by n lambda divided by 2 where n equal to 0 1 2 3 etc so when n equal to 0 x is equal to 0 when n equal to 1 x is equal to lambda by 2 when n equal to 2 it is 2 lambda by 2 2 lambda by 2 when n equal to 3 it is 3 lambda by 2 that is x is equal to 0 lambda by 2 lambda 3 lambda by 2 etc these are the regions of maximum amplitudes or anti-nodes. Anti-nodes are usually represented by A. Clear. Okay.